Well, hey friends, I hope you're doing good. Hey, I have some water here and I'm wondering what I should put it in. I mean, it's in a jug right now, yeah, for sure, but I wanna put it in something else. And so I'm looking for things that I can pour this water into and I need your help to help me decide whether or not these things will hold water. How about a roll of paper towels? If I would pour water onto this paper towel, would it hold water? No, okay. Um, I have a box of tissues here. If I would take a tissue and pour water, would it hold the water? Um, no, you're saying no, okay. Um, your plastic bag, nice plastic bag here. If I would pour water into it, would it hold water? Uh, maybe, unless it had a hole in it, okay. Um, okay, so, oh, my hat. Could I put water in this hat? Would it hold water? See? Uh, no, right, because there's some holes in it. Oh, okay. Well, 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 so these things won't hold water because, why not? Well, you're right, because the water would go through it. The water would go through the paper towel. The water would go through the tissue. The water might go through the bag. Most definitely wouldn't stay in my hat. So these things don't hold water. Okay, so what should I put this water into? What's that? Well, buckets, yeah, buckets. I could pour water into a bucket. I don't have a bucket here right now. Um, a sprinkling can, you said? Yes, I could pour water into a sprinkling can. Okay, hey, I have this little container here. Um, ah, Steelers, ah. Okay, well, do you think it'll hold water? Okay, let's see, all right. Yep, it's holding water. Okay, so that's something that holds water. Um, Oh, what about this? Well, do you think it'll hold water? Let me see, there's some water in it. I splashed myself. Oh, okay, yep, yep, there's water. So let me pour some more water into it. All right, you saw that, it's holding it. Nothing coming out of the bottom, nothing coming out of the sides, um, nothing coming out of the top unless I dump it. So yes, this most definitely will hold water. That's right, and those are designed to hold water. Some of the things we talked about earlier, paper towels, tissues, they can clean up water, but they can't hold water. Um, plastic bags, not too good to carry water in, although it might work from time to time. Well, so you know the difference between a container that does not hold water and a container that does hold water. So have you ever heard someone use this phrase, you know what, that won't hold water. So what does it mean? Well, there are several meanings with this idea of not being able to hold water. Um, one is that the container is not able to contain water without leaking, right? Like this old wading pool won't hold water any longer, right? It's wore out. That's one meaning. Another meaning of not being able to hold water is for something to be inadequate, insubstantial or ill-conceived, not a good idea. Like, sorry, man, your ideas won't hold water. Nice try, though. Um, and then the last meaning of this phrase, to not hold water, is when something seems to not be or not appear to be true, verifiable, or to be able to be supported by facts. So it's not really truthful. You know what? Like this, for instance, we could say, you know, that old claim that there's mine, that there's gold in that mine has been debunked so many times that it just not hold water anymore. Or we could say, you know, Jack's story about him being at that place at that time just won't hold water. It sounds too unlikely. So the image is of a container of water or a container with holes in it and the water just goes right through it or right out of it. So it references something that is not workable or not truthful. Something that is not right or trustworthy. We can't trust in it to hold water. Well, I know the opposite of something that is untrustworthy. The epitome of being trustworthy is God. That's right, God is trustworthy. He holds water. <laughs> you know, Jesus reminds us that God is trustworthy. Our experience reminds us that God is trustworthy. And the Bible reminds us that God is trustworthy. And here are a few verses that remind us of that. Deuteronomy 32, 4. He is the rock. His works are perfect and all his ways are right. He is faithful. He doesn't do anything wrong. He is honest and fair. 
Uh, those are all. That sounds like pretty good positive attributes of a trustworthy person to me. And that's God. Psalm 100 verse 5 says, The Lord is good. His faithful love continues forever, and it will last for all time to come. Another trustworthy statement. And Deuteronomy 7, 9. So I want you to realize that the Lord your God is God. He is the faithful God. He keeps his covenant for all time to come. He keeps it with those who love him and obey his commandments. He shows them his love. God is trustworthy for sure. He definitely holds water. Yep, so we know that this jug holds water. We know that this paper towel roll does not hold water. So, if we would be pouring water into something, which would we choose? Yes, the jug, the mug, those things that hold water. We want to make good choices in who and what we believe, correct? Right. So let's choose to believe in God because he is trustworthy. He holds water. That's right. I believe it with all my heart. I hope you do too. So today, have a trustworthy day. Find a way to drink water out of something that's not going to spill on you all the time and to believe in its integrity. Just like God, he is trustworthy. Have a day filled with joy and a day filled with peace. <laughs>